Sinicolo. 1490s. Leonardo da Vinci. Commissioned as part of a plan of renovations to the church and its convent buildings by Leonardo's patron, Ludovico Sforza. It covers an end wall of what was initially planned to be a mausoleum, today the dining hall at the monastery of Santa Maria delle Grazie in Milan. The painting demonstrated da Vinci's masterful use of perspective as it draws the attention to the face of Christ at the center of the composition whose turned right cheek is located at the vanishing point for all perspective lines, and Christ's face through his downturned gaze directs our focus along the diagonal of his left arm to his hand and, therefore, the bread. Two early copies of The Last Supper are known to exist and have survived with the details still intact. Gian Pietrino's one was the main source for the 20 years restoration of the original. Being target of much speculation, its most famous one is the statement that John is actually Mary Magdalene. The major counter-argument given is that Leonardo would have had no motive to disguise her since she was widely venerated in her role as the Apostle to the Apostles and was the patron of the Dominican Order for whom the paint was done. Also, there would have even been precedent for it since an earlier Renaissance painter, Fra Angelico, had included her in his painting of the Last Supper. Other remarks of the painting are the presence of several possible numerical references and Fibonacci series. Even a musical composition using the position of hands and loaves of bread was suggested. As a painter, Leonardo favored oil-based inks, applying it on a wool sealed with a double layer of plaster, pitch, and mastic. Made into a hastily rebuilt, thin outer wall with rubble that traps moisture, the paint failed to properly adhere, and soon after it be completed it started to deteriorate. As early as 1517, the painting was starting to flake. In 32 it was described as blurred and colorless, when compared with it early self. In 56 it was reduced to a muddle of blots. In 1652, a doorway was cut through it. In 1768, a curtain was hung over the painting for the purpose of protection. Instead, it trapped moisture on the surface, and whenever the curtain was pulled back, it scratched the flaking paint. Later, French revolutionary anti-clerical troops used the place as an armory and stable. They threw stones at the painting and climbed ladders to scratch out the apostles' eyes. The room also was flooded with two feet of water after a heavy rainstorm and used as a prison. An expert in removing whole frescoes was called in to transport it into a safer location, but not being a fresco, was badly damaged in the center section. During World War II, the place was struck by bombing. Multiple unsuccessful restorations were attempted throughout the time, and even the successful ones were deeply criticized. A last curiosity. Leonardo reportedly used the likeness of the people of Milan as inspiration for the features of the apostles. Once the prior of the convent complained about the delaying, Leonardo responded that he would make a suitable model for Judas. Subscribe for more videos like this. Bye for now.